Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Right. Hello, YouTube. This is my new model. I got new stuff on the model. I got a mask. Can't shoot with a gun unless it's a water gun. We'll label it as a water gun. And we have a controller. 10 shocking moments caught on CCTV camera. Oh my god. So let's go. Let's watch him, shall we? Let's see if they really are shocking. Is it going to if it plays? Play. I'm a distracted driver in Florida who accidentally jumped a drawbridge and a massive sinkhole Play. that swallowed a car on a busy Saturday night to a gas leak in China that Ooh, looks more leak. like a Marvel movie and much more. Here are 10 incredible moments caught on CCTV camera. What the fuck? <laughs> Miguel Cejas owns 16 mobile phone stores in Los Angeles County, California. Unfortunately, people keep breaking into his shops and stealing thousands you, of dollars worth of You don't of know, they could both be green. Miguel got sick of it, so he decided to fight back. On September 30th of 2015, a robber broke into one of Miguel's stores in Pomona, California. If he That's had done risky. his homework, he'd have known this plan was that is very risky. from the start. Our robber fails his mission as soon as he drops through the ceiling. That cage <laughs> is normally full of expensive items. However, this particular store wasn't slated to open until next week. That's why the so cage everything was in the so vault. the robber heads out the back and sprints to the exit. Little did he know that the door that he just walked through was booby-trapped. It's an exit-only door. There's no way to open it from the other side. He was trapped as soon as it shut. You can see the panic in his eyes when he realizes there's no handle. Then the lights come on, meaning the alarm has been triggered and the police uh, are he's on their fucked way. Now. He starts banging and kicking another door, which can't be good for his legs. He manages to break through only to find a dead end. Soon after, he's on his knees and the cops are hauling him off to jail. <laughs> Miguel well, had a very simple definitely. message for other would-be robbers. Don't try to come into my store because you're not getting into my store. He tried to break out of a building and the second this he broke out of that door, gives new it was an exit to only that set off the alarm. The wheel. We're not sure where this clip comes from. All we know is it's a poorly managed <clears throat> warehouse the somewhere. On his knees. Whoever's in charge should have noticed this employee was grossly overworked. Ultimately, it costs them more not. than a few hours of productivity. <laughs> Our sleepy yeah, forklift driver is out cold. He veers left and crashes into a fully packed oh, shelf. No. Thankfully, the crash jolted him awake, and he was able to escape before everything came tumbling down. A the accident driver. sets off a massive chain reaction that never seems to end. What do you even do in that situation? Lack of sleep. You quit your no job joke, and you never come back to that shop. <laughs> you can get away with sleeping at your desk, but <laughs> manual labor like this can lead to serious injury. Our sleepy driver is lucky he got out of the way. There's no telling how much all that stuff weighed. Oh my god, imagine that happened in Super Value or something. Imagine being the unluckiest person in a city of 5.6 million folks. Well, that's exactly what happened in Ankara, Turkey's second largest oh, city. That's where right Toga is from. This driver must have felt that's like the universe now. had a personal vendetta. Of all the cities in the country of Turkey, yeah, Ankara yeah. is the second yeah. largest right behind the capital, Istanbul. It's home to about 5.6 million people and this super unlucky driver. Back on May 6th of 2016, security cameras were rolling outside Nazgid, I don't know. a market chain in the country. Oh Keep your eye on the car at the top oh. of the screen. In what seems like a peaceful setting, the car okay, suddenly those, begins to sink into those. the earth thanks to a sinkhole that decided now was the best time to open up. Know. To make matters worse, nobody caught wind of the accident until early in the morning. The car's alarms did go off, but it didn't seem to do the trick. If you look closely, you can see that the sinkhole is actually full of water. Come daylight, you've got firefighters and onlookers uh. scratching their heads on what the best move is. They blocked the area uh, off with yellow the head and like, what do we do? What do we do? Plenty of personnel. The men stare and point for a while, probably trying <laughs> yeah. to gauge how to remove it. Stand around, it scratch your head, and hole. see what to do. We eventually get a shot looking yep. into the sinkhole, and you can see how the car is nearly fully submerged. But take a closer look. 
you can see water spraying oh, into the grace. hole. Could this be the cause in the first place? Well, uh, according to reports, this water pipe, pipe was burst or in something. fact the culprit. Water had been leaking underground for some time. How long, nobody knows. But it was enough to create you know, this massive cavern. As it's the surface grew work, weaker, man. it finally caved in around 5 a.m. This clip brings everything we've learned about industrial accidents together. A forklift driver was attempting to load material into an aluminum smelter. However, the material was wet from sitting outside. He learned the hard way why you don't mix water and molten aluminum. That driver was extremely lucky to escape with his life. Oh, well he outran done. the molten wave by a few short inches. One commenter explained how this was a Force 2 explosion. You can see when the water initially reacts with the molten aluminum. Whatever he's carrying jumps up on contact. Isn't it? The molten aluminum also okay. spreads between 10 and 20 feet. A Force 1 explosion would be a small pop. A Force 3 would have deleted the entire factory. I'm saying, isn't it mul isn't it multiple or multiple? The state of aluminium, Massachusetts is no stranger to wild animals, especially bears. In total, it's estimated that roughly 4,500 black bears call the state home, and that number seems to grow with each passing year. One local got a first-hand lesson in this when he nodded off in his poolside lounge chair. Luckily for him, his trusty ring security camera was rolling, capturing a moment he probably couldn't believe was happening. As the video starts, a you see the man asleep in a lounge chair right camera. by his pool. Okay. If you look to the right, the bear casually strolls into frame. At first, it takes a sip from the pool. I wonder if they like chlorine. <laughs> well, nevertheless, that's precisely when the bear noticed the sleeping a man baby and black decides bear, to yep. investigate. The bear sniffs his foot and gives it a slight nudge. Morning. It's enough to wake the Good man day to you, sir. up and startle the hey, bear. Wait a minute, yeah. what the takes hell? off running. As you might imagine, people were skeptical when they first heard the story. The man takes a picture of a den like doubts to rest. If I were this man, I'd probably work on setting up a fence as fast as I could. No, true. Back on February 17th of this year, a driver in Liuzhou, China had a simple job. Deliver some iron canisters to a scrapyard. Simple enough, right? Well, as it turns out, one of those canisters was full of chlorine gas. CCTV from the scrapyard shows what seems to be a normal scene, but that all changes when the can of gas suddenly bursts. An ominous yellow vapor slowly fills the frame as it creeps across the yard. Soon, the entire place is covered. As for our driver, he thankfully escaped in time. Oh, the lovely. reason the gas stays so close to the ground is mainly due to its density. It's more dense, aka heavier, than the air, so it stays low. Chinese officials said the gas all escaped without any harm to the environment. A couple of people did require minor medical attention, but for the most part, this was a disaster that could have been much worse. The first asphalt road in America was paved in 1870 in Newark, New Jersey. We've been using the material to pave roads across the country ever since. While 30% of highways are still paved with concrete, about 94% of residential 94? roads oh use God. asphalt. But like all chemical compounds, asphalt can still be dangerous under the right or wrong circumstances. Russia learned that lesson the hard way when one of its old asphalt plants exploded. The video <laughs> is dated June 8th, 2014, but we can't find any information about this explosion online. All seems normal as CCTV cameras roll outside the plant, but it looks like there's something stirring on the right side. We're not sure if that's a small fire or something normal. A worker enters the frame, unaware that the plant is about to blow. Then, kaboom! One of the cylinders <laughs> ruptures, <laughs> sending thick gas and smoke everywhere. So he when said heated enough, asphalt becomes dangerous and flammable. Just ask these firefighters who were just trying to save a quarry in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Molecule by molecule. Adam by Damn, how long were they putting it out for? Skip it a button. Oh, Jesus. It went on fire again. That guy's got to be careful. It was October 12th of 2015, 
Firefighters arrived at Tulsa Asphalt just as the fire began spreading. Unfortunately, it spread towards seven tanks filled with different fuels and oils. The fire oh. itself didn't cause the tank to explode. Instead, it caused the pressure relief valve to malfunction, thus triggering an explosion. Only a few firefighters suffered minor injuries. For what it's worth, the explosion could have been much, much worse. Three of those tanks were full of burner fuel, three were full of oil, and one was full of diesel. Now, nobody said raising kids was easy. Just ask these Oof, parents mega. in Shanghai, Oof. China. While on a casual trip to the mall, their little girl took an unsupervised ride up the escalator. Someone's parents must have been distracted by a sale. A little boy plays on the escalator while holding a string. While his actions uh, no, seem not, pretty not dangerous, the string, not the string. he is not the focal point of this clip. He stops when he sees Whoa. a little girl coming up. As the story goes, she was Morning. playing on the Good side day to you, sir. when she rolled hey, wait a off minute, what the hell? hung on for dear life. Thankfully, the girl gets wedged between the escalator and the glass wall, oh, so her chances Jesus. of falling seem smaller. The little boy calls for help, and a man walks over to see what's happening. Kudos to him for remaining calm under pressure. He grabs the girl's <laughs> dress and tries to hoist her over, but lifting a child isn't that easy. That's yeah, when the man's no brother rushes over to help. They pull her to safety and make sure she's okay. <laughs> she, now, she wanted China to see what it's like to ride an escalator on the escalators. outside. Many of these aging machines <laughs> are not equipped with proper safety features. According to reports, there are 110,000 nah, escalators. With she was climbing monkey bears. She was having the time of her life until she got wedged in between the Jian, China escalator and the glass. In Hunan province. It's home to about 4.4 million people and one brave woman who works at a small gas station. On July 9th of 2018, a motorbike spontaneously combusted after filling up with gas. Everyone scattered. Everyone except this brave employee. As they say, not all heroes wear capes. No, While everyone not. scatters like mice, our brave employee grabs a fire extinguisher. Well, she remains on. calm and someone has to grab the, the fire extinguisher. Someone has to seconds. do the job. Everyone just gonna... in the area was extremely lucky. If that fire spread to a pump, there is no telling how much damage it could have caused. We're not sure what started this fire in China. It was probably an electrical issue with the bike. According to the National Fire Protection Association, gas station fires cause about $30 million in damages each year. Most are caused yeah. by electrical issues. Cooking in attached convenience stores is a close second. Like, let's be real. Are you going to let a bike blow up the whole let gas station next or just put out the bike? a valuable lesson about the dangers of distracted driving. On July 1st of 2015, 29-year-old James Montano was driving across the Flagler no. Memorial Bridge in Palm Beach, Florida. As the story goes, James snuck a quick peek at his GPS as he came upon a drawbridge. That split second was enough to cause a near catastrophe. James comes barreling down the road and smashes through the crossing arm. His SUV jumps the drawbridge like the Dukes of Hazard and crashes into the road on the other side. According to reports, the nose of his car dug into the lip between the bridge and the pavement. Police and firefighters arrived shortly after. Thankfully, James was okay, just a little shaken up. James, what are you police doing? He was fiddling with his GPS and didn't see the crossing arm until it was too late. <laughs> he didn't show any signs of impairment or intoxication, so they were inclined to believe him. He was ultimately charged with <laughs> reckless driving and was sent on his way. The bridge this guy named James, for about five he was messing with his GPS and he went over a repairs. bridge like uh, Fast and Furious. Now, while they're most common in East Asia, sinkholes can open anywhere at any time. Take this one that was caught on CCTV. December 20th of 2014 began as an average day. Someone must have thought they'd found the best parking spot in town. When they oh, returned no. later on, they okay, realized they weren't in why the car, nobody thank God. had taken it. The sinkhole opens under a parked car and immediately swallows the whole thing. Someone runs by, but we can't say if he's the owner or not. If you look closely, you can see the car is parked on a weak patch of ground. It looks like there's some construction equipment nearby, and you can see a pipe spewing water into the hole. Maybe the pipe was leaking and caused the soil to weaken. Or maybe this was a classic case of bad luck. I would say bad luck. 
Yakutsk, Russia is a large city located Yakutsk. in the eastern part of the country. That's a weird name. It's home to about 355,000 people and one incompetent helicopter pilot. On July 28th of 2023, a military man tried to take off in an Mi-26 helicopter. The Soviet-era heavy transport chopper is among the largest in the Russian fleet. The Mi-26 can carry 90 troops and about 44,000 pounds worth of cargo. It Jeez. also requires a five-person crew to operate. You would think that one of them was paying attention during this botched takeoff. Oh, no. Compared to the car and the guy standing nearby, you can tell how big the Mi-26 truly is. Did Our hit pilot the rolls forward and gets way too close to the lighting post. Yep. The rotors are destroyed in seconds, and the mast falls on top of the body. We're well, not sure course. why the pilot was so far off to the side. They clearly had plenty of space to work they with. They did. They Maybe really did. Maybe someone landed it there by mistake, and they didn't have time to tow it back to the middle. Can you even tow a helicopter? Well, that's all we have for you today. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it's it, always then be sure one. to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.